What's up everybody, it's your boy Big Al 4242 back again with some Madden 11 superstar gameplay for you guys and uh, I am live coming this BT dub um, you guys missed the live stream well some of you didn't some of you did actually come out there and watch the live stream uh, I streamed the creation of my superstar and the drafting, the IQ test, I streamed all that shit um, and I don't know, we had, we had some fun out there doing that. And uh, just in case you missed it, just a little quick update. I am a running back and I was drafted by the San Francisco 49ers. Saw you Bay Area people out there who are 49ers fans. And today we are playing in Seattle, Washington. I was debating on if I wanted to do just like the certain parts of the game. And then I was like, well... When you're in superstar mode, <clears throat> excuse me. When you're in superstar mode, it doesn't let you play if you're not on the if you're not on the field. So you just press Y, send a super strong field. So that that knocks out a big chunk of playing time. And then you got the accelerated clock on that knocks out even more time. Uh, I do start, so fail block right there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Look at that block. I'm trying not to be too loud. My lady's on the couch sleeping. I don't know if I wake her up. It's going to be like fucking Big Al get knocked the fuck out mode. Look at that catch, dude. Fucking beautiful shit. Let's run the ball now. <laughs> I want some touches, damn it. I want to touch the ball. Yeah. Alright. So my guard's pulling. Get right behind his ass. Look at that first down. 13 yards. What's up? I love playing football, dude. Like, this brings me back to my roots, for real. Playing fucking Madden on the PlayStation. Madden 64 back in the day. For the people who... If you've ever played Madden 64, let me know in the comments. That shit was so fun, dude. I love playing that fucking game. First down. Look at that. He ain't got no speed, though, for real. Like, honestly, my dude sucks. For real. I swear to God. Like, his stats are not great. At all. And that's just because he's a rookie, too, though, I think. Look, he's, like, turn, turned around and shit. Oh, you should have caught that, though, for real. Look, watch. Should have had that shit. So now we send it. We scored, apparently. And, uh... He can catch, though. Well, let me not say he can't catch. He's he's decent at catching. <laughs> he's decent at running, too. He's not the fucking best. But, for those of y'all wondering, I did a, uh, I tried doing a commentary the other day about the Billionaire Challenge shit and what all I thought about it. And honestly, like, what the fuck's going on? And, uh, honestly... Like, people keep saying it's not about the money, it's not about the money, la da 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 But really, to these people, it is about the money. You know what I'm saying? If it's not about the money, then why'd you accept the partnership? If it's not about the money, why do you put ads on every single one of your videos? You know what I mean? It's like, if you're really going to sit there and tell us it's not about the money, then don't put ads on your videos. For I'm not saying don't never put ads on your videos ever again. But, you know, but just just go a little bit without putting any ads on your videos, like a few days, a week, tops. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, like, think about it. These people have got full-time jobs, and yet some of them still upload every single day. You got people that put fucking five videos up in a day, you know, and tell you it's not about the money. It's like, well, how are you getting time to, to fucking put up all these videos if you're not... 
if it's not about the money. You know what I mean? But it's just silly shit like that that I don't understand. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, if I ever get partnered off of gameplays, you know, I'm going to put ads on my videos. I might not put it on all of them, but I'm definitely going to fucking put it on there. You know? Because, I mean, honestly, like, YouTube is a job for real. Like, the, a lot of viewers don't know what all goes into making a commentary. And I'm going to tell you right now, like, I had about a $200 PBR. I record my phone, thankfully. Otherwise, that'd be an even fucking bigger expense to go out and buy a microphone. It takes me two and a half to three hours to render a video just because my laptop's shitty. So, it takes me three hours to do that. And then to upload, I live out in the fucking boondocks. So, I have half a meg upload speed. So, it takes me fucking almost two hours to upload a video. So just in render and upload time is five hours. That's not including recording time. That's not including getting gameplays. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not the best fucking Call of Duty player. That's why you think I don't upload all the fucking time. Because I don't get gameplays like that for real. You know what I mean? And by the time you watch this video, you probably have already seen. I posted a live commentary the other day. I was playing with some people. And, uh... Look at that shit. I wasn't even expecting to get the ball right there. But, uh, I was playing with some people and just happened to decide to do a live comm. And I got a decent KD on it. So, if, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely by far not the most efficient Call of Duty player there is. But, I think it's my commentary that keeps you guys coming back. Touchdown. Nope. But uh I mean if you guys if you guys think I'm pretty good at the game, you like my gameplays, let me know. You know what I mean? Cuz I just think it's my commentary that keeps you guys coming back. I just think y'all like to hear what I got to say. And if you like to hear what I got to say, then you should be following me on Twitter. And I lost the follower today because of something that I said. Um and I'm going to go ahead and say it on here because honestly, I don't give a shit. I mean, I give a shit about you guys, but my opinion is my opinion, and if I don't like somebody, I'm not going to fucking pretend to like somebody, but the aviator, I'm sure all you all you guys have heard of him, la da 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 he went from rags to riches, YouTube-wise, I guess you could say, but I mean, <clears throat> I know people that knew the guy before he blew up, I'm not going to say any names, but I know a lot of people that knew him before he blew up, he was a real cool guy. He did his thing, you know what I mean? Um, he got some he got some lucky draws. He he met Woody. He got into the Woody's competition, which after watching several videos I found out that that whole little thing was rigged, but I'm not trying to attack anybody. I don't fucking want any of that shit. But found out that that whole thing was rigged. I seen videos of Skype conversations between uh Ukrainian limbs and some other people. And, uh, anyway, the aviator was in the competition because he knew Woody. And after he blew up, like, people were telling me that they don't even talk to him no more. They don't even fuck with him no more. Because whenever he games with people, you, he doesn't want you using any kind of lethal kill streaks. He wants you running fucking spy plane, counter UAV, and fucking, uh... Blackbird, and that's all he wants people running whenever they're playing together. And what that is is to help him get a get a good gameplay. You know what I mean? And I've never watched any of the guys' gameplays, just because from hearing all the stories that I've heard about them, this it's not something that I would want to fucking watch. It don't sound like it'd be entertaining. But I mean, it's just my views, guys. It's my opinion. If you don't like my opinion, then unsubscribe. You know what I mean? That, that's the whole reason people have got YouTube channels, and that's to fucking put their put their two cents in, give you their peace of mind. And I mean, subscriber count don't mean shit to me, but what does mean something to me is that the people that are subscribed to me are happy, that they're getting good quality content, and they keep coming back because they like that content. You know, so as long as my viewers are happy, it's all good. If my subs are happy. 
it's all good. Um, if y'all don't like me, you don't have to watch my videos. You know what I mean? You're not gonna hurt my feelings. I'm gonna sleep the exact same. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna wake up in the morning, and I'm gonna go to my fucking job. <laughs> you feel me? But anyway, enough about that. What I was saying earlier, though, if, if it was all about the money, to me, I would quit posting gameplays and just do vlogs. I would vlog all the time, and I would get a, a partnership through YouTube. I wouldn't worry about trying to go through Machinima because you can get a part. You can get a partnership through YouTube talking about games, doing game reviews and all that through YouTube, as long as you're not posting game footage, you know what I mean, but I think, honestly, I think one day that uh, YouTube will go and get a uh, licensing for these games, just because that would broaden the horizon, because the partnership program, believe it or not, actually draws money to them, to, you know, so... For them not being able to partner people that post gaming videos, it's actually like hurting them, you know what I mean? So, I wouldn't doubt it if that's something that we see in the future, is them getting uh, licensing for video games to be broadcasted through them. And uh, I think that'll be really cool, you know, a lot of people that aren't mainstream will definitely get get some views and shit that way, you know? They'll actually have a chance to get partnered and all that, but I don't know. I mean, it's it's all it is what it is. Greatest quote there ever is. It is what it is. But anyway, score is seventeen nothing. Um, I don't know what my stats. Oh fuck! I called a timeout. God damn. That's same as when you play Call of Duty too much. You press that back button to try to see your fucking stats and call timeouts. Damn it. Oh, what the fuck. But anyway, 17 nothing. Fourth quarter, minute 17 left. Uh, it's almost over. We're at 12 minutes. And we're going to rock out. I want to try to score another touchdown. Though. You know what I mean? I don't even think I personally scored one yet. But this is what draws these fucking football games out so long is at the end of the game when all you're doing is running. Trying to rush that clock. Second and four. My guy's tired. Look at him. I can't got no good stat. I did, I did good on the IQ test, though. The IQ test, I think I might have missed, like, one question. I call a timeout right there just to see if I can get... If I can get a first down. Oh, they kept me in. That's what's up. Usually they got a different third down running back. Oh, no. Okay, I made it. I made it. We got it, guys. It's all good. We got it. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see. I say that like I'm fixing to call the fucking play or something. He needs to get some stiff arm action, goddammit. Well, the game's over. 17 nothing is what it looks like the final score is going to be because they keep going goal line stance. So, it's not really goal line, I know. Don't fucking troll me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? You see, he's weak, dude. He should have bulldozed that guy. 106 rushing yards. Look, he just totally just got fucking ass raped right there. But... Anyway, guys, that's it. You know who it is. You know what I do. And for those of you who love me and keep coming back video after video, I love you too. And I'll holler at y'all next time. So until then, it's been your boy Big Al. I'm out. Peace.